What is going on guys? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're continuing exactly where we left off in the last one. So, we're going to head over to Modron and uh, go confront her. Sam, she had the wool pulled over our eyes for most of uh, the last uh, few episodes. 100%. Uh, we need our horse. We're going pretty far. Oh, I remember this place. This is the first place we came to when we came to this area. It's true right here. We uh, had to take on some boars. Hopefully you guys remember that. If you didn't and you missed the episode, go back. Uh, I don't know, at least five episodes or so. Eh, I don't think it was that many. It was probably like uh, three or four episodes ago. Something like that. Anyway, we're just about here. Can't see an absolute thing what's going on in front of us. It's just foggy, gloomy, scary forest. Stretch uh, your wings, Sunan. I'm guessing over here, probably. I have no idea. This place is heavily guarded. Let's jump off the horse. I see an entrance here. Which I'm guessing is our way in. Yep, sure does look like it. Um, why didn't this happen there? I wanted to assassinate, but it didn't. Um, get off the body, Evil. I want you to do a, a pulse of okay, it. Looks like potentially this direction. Oh, hello. Hey, what? That assassination worked. I don't know why the first one didn't. Oh well. Anyway, we're moving on into the camp now anyway. We need to take out this guy. Okay, he went straight down. So if we get two guys here. Can we get above them and Joel assassinate? Maybe. About to find out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry about that. I also, my watch went off then. Just wondering why it went off. That's where we need to be down here. Oh, we've got loot down here. It, it didn't come up with the assassination thing, though, did it? I don't know why it doesn't sometimes do that. It's just like everything seems to be stacked against us sometimes to uh... Yeah, at least we're full on rations anyway. Always good. Um... Fairly done. Oh, yeah. it's nothing really. That interesting. Alrighty. The guy there above. It's starting to get daylight a little bit. Might make it easier to find where we need to go. Maybe. Probably not. Okay, that guy's just sat down. So we can take down this guy. Take out these guys up here. Oh, hey. hello. I 
accept your weird move. Cool. Nobody heard that as well. Nice. Let's do another post because I don't know where people are. Okay, he's he's a pretty big target. See, we can. Oh, I was gonna say if he keeps on coming, we can try and assassinate him. He didn't even bat an eyelid. There, he was hidden away. Those two were hidden away. Okay, got him too. Where were the bodies? It's faint, but I recognize Mordren's voice. Aha. We found her. I think we've got a couple of guys left. This guy's a big guy by the looks of it. See, there's a guy coming here. Really want to assassinate this guy if I can. He's going to be the big guy that needs to go. Shit. I did not go to plant. Oh, whoops. That's not good. There's a tungsten ingot, nice. Okay, it looks like it's just these two here. Sometimes it just does not pop up with the assassination thing. Uh, it's a bit, a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Right, where do we need to go here? To the right. Oh, looks like it. Guess we can just move this out the way then. There we go. Let's head on in. Uh, you need a cleaner. Uh, there's some uh, a lot of spiders in here. Head spiders. One of the things I do not like at all. Find them incredibly creepy. Good, it's taking out our something's not right. Taking away our health though. Okay, it's not where we just came through now. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys in here. By the looks of it. You're joking me, I just shot him in the face and it did nothing. Whoa. 
Yeah, I could have probably done this quietly, but... We're all good. Send in some, uh, some heavy attacks there. That could have went better. That could have went a lot better, but looks like there's a book of knowledge nearby. Ah, it's quite far away. Well, actually, there's a one of the loot things right there. Just spotted it there out of the corner of my eye. I'll grab that. Probably a tongue stinger, hopefully. Nope, leather and fabric and iron ore. Nice. Alright, looks like we've got some more guards coming up. Hope we're going in the right direction as well. I have no idea. Okay. There's three of them. Let's see if we can get this one. This case doesn't seem to be that hard to take out either now, which is uh, a good thing. Also, we're getting our arrows back too. Alright, I think we need to go this way. More than likely, we need to go this way. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody ahead of us. I guess we keep on going deeper and deeper into the cave. Sweat and blood, death and birth. You found her. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods. Bring it. You're just gonna stay up there, are you? We're getting arrows back, nice. Alrighty, we're going up. We're not going to fight dirty anymore. Oh wow, her arrows really hurt. Fast way down, I guess. Ah, uh, come here. Stop running away. past. Die, Modron! Die! 
Um, excuse you? Alright. Now we're doing work. I forgot that touching up. Think of that one though. Oh no. Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the salad you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. Okay, we can kill her, or we can spare. Well, she's not a member of the Ancients, and uh, uh, not a member of the Order of the Ancients. I hate these decisions. I think I'm going to spare her, I think. Um, I think what she was doing wrong, we've we've defeated her. Like, yeah. Well, I'm going to go spare. Let's see how this goes. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No, <laughs> we are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be elder men yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return <laughs> with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. Alrighty. That's, uh... There's another two skill points. Awesome. We now got six. So let's fast travel back to Wow. Uh let's fast travel back to the um the city, I guess. See you guys when we get there. Alrighty guys, we're back. Uh let's head on down. We're gonna go talk to Gunner apparently. Nice. Haven't seen Gunner in a while. Where about is he? He's in over in that direction. Uh, I don't know if people are still going to attack us here or not. Uh, just one quick thing though before we go any further. Let's um, let's sort out our our inventory here. Like, uh, I'm not liking this mask. Oh, it doesn't look like we can change it. All of our other gear is still on. So I'm guessing eventually we're going to take it off. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Starting to be a bit weird with the mask on. <laughs> it's not Halloween anymore. It's been at least three days since Halloween. Alrighty. Looks like the weather's picking up a little bit. Never mind. It's starting to get dark again. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be England if it would if it didn't rain, would it? 
Alrighty, speak to Gunner. Gunner, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this <laughs> could be our shared saga. But it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king. And then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Already. I've already gone ahead. I should join them. We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Set fire to the... Wow. What a way to go, eh? I... Climbs in. We throw the fire on. Father, who are 
art in heaven, our mother who art in earth, please, <coughs> please accept this offering. <coughs> Take of me my flesh and bone and flesh. It's definitely not a good way to go. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best to good news. Oh, we got a turnip from that. <laughs> anyway, uh, tell her the good news that we just set a guy on fire and burnt him alive. Yeah, if that's what you call good news here for. If that's what you call good news. Anyway guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end this one here. We'll head back to go see Ranvi in the next one. And uh, we'll see where we're going to go from there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you guys have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't, there's always that dislike button right next door to it. If you guys haven't hit subscribe already, hit subscribe. It always helps out the channel and helps the channel grow and all that good stuff. Plus ring that little bell to be notified when I next upload. And other than that guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Morgan?